All right, you guys, so in this video, I'm gonna be swatching all 10 of these McCart gel polish kits. So we're just gonna do them on my hand because I want it to feel kind of ASMR slash oddly satisfying or whatever. Instead of just swatching them on a nail stand, I thought it would be cooler to just do it on my actual practice hand. Another reason why I decided to do this video instead of a nail tutorial is because my Treshe talons are still lasting. This is the style called Dolled Up. It's like a jelly pink with a baby pink slant painted on it. If you like it, I do have a discount code that will save you some money. So definitely check the link down below. So the first kit I'm gonna start off with is the P53 kit. So these kits kind of have been sitting around for a good amount of time in here. So I don't really know if some of these are still gonna be available, but I'll just do my best to link whatever I can find on the website. So this P53 comes with a base coat gel and a top coat gel. So I'm gonna use the top coat. Looks like the color scheme is really like autumn-y. Seeing some yellows and reds. And like orange, brown right here. So some of you guys might really be into this autumn color scheme. So this first color is 531. So this nail is not really stuck down as well as I thought it was, <laughs> but this color looks really good. It kind of like self-leveled self -leveled a bit. Um, I thought it was going to need two coats, but I just added more gel and kind of tried to even it out as much as I could, and it looks pretty good. I do love this type of sunshine yellow as well. The bottles are really big for this kit too. There's eight milliliters in here. This next color is 533. So I'm just going to flash cure these as I go and then when I'm done with four fingers I'll stick it in the lamp for a full cure. Okay so this is really interesting this color. It's like, would you call this hot pink or would you call this red? I'm already noticing some rippling on this yellow. And that's because some colors can handle being flash cured and nothing will happen to them, but some colors end up rippling when they don't get a full cure on the first cure. So just knowing that I'm gonna probably not flash cure these anymore because the rippling is gonna be an issue. So while that's curing, the next color is 532. Considering these have been sitting in my bin for a really long time, they're not that bad. They're not super bad to me. Um, they probably need a good shake with like a shaking machine or something, but all it needs is a little like spin around and it gets mixed up. This color is really fall. Like this is like a very pretty like muted orange. I'm gonna try another layer of the yellow paint, but we'll do that right before we go into the lamp. That red is pretty much a one coat one and done type of red such a pretty red though it's like it wants to be pink but it also wants to be red um it's really nice i usually don't just like go for reds but that's one i would like because it has that pink look to it So that really was not working at all. The nails kept falling off the fake hand. I have to perfect that method a little bit more in the future. So we're just gonna do the nail stand for now. Um, but yeah, I hope you enjoyed that little <laughs> realistic swatch. So this is the P52 kit. Let's see what these colors look like. Ooh, these are really cute. These look kind of like purples. 
So this is six different colors in different shades of purple. And then there's a base and top in this one as well. These are also eight milliliter bottles. It's definitely like a one coat wonder right there. This one is five two two. And that is such a pretty freaking color. Oh my God, I love that. Another banger. <laughs> Super pretty. Five, two, three. I think because these are on the nail stand and they're sturdy, I'm able to swatch them a lot better than I was on the hand. And I'm seeing that all it takes is just adding a little bit more gel and it gives you that one coat coverage. And they cure just fine like that. You don't have to do two thin layers. And yeah, they are really delivering on the pigment on these and that color was 524. This one is 525. Yeah, this is so, this is such a cool idea to have like just purples in different colors, different shades. I feel awful because they sent me this so long ago and I've just been holding on to it because I don't really do painted, gel painted looks, so I didn't really know what to do with it. But being able to swatch these is also going to help me know what I have so I can start reaching for these things in the future. This one's 526. This one is actually giving me a kind of like a blue indigo feeling and this one is super dark purple so it almost looks actually blue. This is an interesting color though. It's kind of like one of those colors that is it blue, is it purple? Definitely giving me that on this one. So in love with this set. The other one is not really my cup of tea because I don't like those orangey warm tones like that. I'm gonna zoom out really quick. So this is the P52 kit. I'm gonna cure this and then top coat it. Okay, so the next kit we're gonna look at is the Awesome Color Gel Polish Kit, and it's this barcode. So you open them up like this, and this is what they look like. The bottles are pretty cute. I have to say, I really do like these bottles. Something about this green top is really cute to me. The first one we're gonna swatch is AC20-1, and it's a glitter. Super, super cute. This is interesting. This glitter has like blue. I like it. I'm a pretty big fan of that. It's gonna look different with two coats, so I might do two coats. This one's AC20-2. Looks really pale. Oh wow, okay. This one could be a dupe for one of those lavender shades in the previous one I just swatched. It looks really similar to the first color over there, but maybe a little bit more blue tone. It's kind of giving off like a powdered blue. This one's AC203. Looks like a pink. Oh wow, this is really cute. Oh wow, do you guys see this? <laughs> I'm excited, this is so pretty. Holy crap. That's a really nice color. AC, AC204, dang, this is cute. Oh my God, I like this one because it's kind of got this like jellyish, milkyish look to it. I got a color like this a long time ago in a random like gel polish kit that I was reviewing. The brand is very obscure. In fact, it might be sitting right behind me on my shelves because I really like the color and I would keep it nearby. It looked just like this. I've done a few videos using it and I've never seen it again in any other place. Um, yeah, they're right here. They're from the brand called Maythe. 
And this is like a really close dupe for that Mayfi color. I love that like jellyish look to it. It's not super opaque. And this one's AC205. It looks like it might be white. Yeah. This is like a very like blue toned white. And she's like very pigmented. One coat and you're done. <laughs> One and done. This one's AC206. This is a glitter. So I'm noticing that these are running a little bit compared to the previous ones, at least. This one is already kind of running, spilling over to the sides, um, which is not a problem really, I'm just noting it. This is a really pretty glitter. I'm gonna cure this and then if it needs two coats, I'll do a second coat for any of these. I do wanna kind of fix the shaping on this one that's running. I'm already noticing that this one's definitely gonna need a second coat. It just looks like it could be a lot more full coverage. Possibly even this baby pink, so I'm gonna cure these. And yeah, I'm just loving this whole like very pastel light. This is, this is definitely something I would be into. All these colors are very pretty. So I'm pretty pleased with these. I don't really see, I mean, I guess I could just do a second coat of all of them just for shits and giggles. They definitely could make it just with one coat, but you can pretty much see that they need another coat, but it's like you had to be looking really hard. Um, I'm really interested to see what this glitter, these glitters are gonna look like layered on each other. So I'm gonna do a second coat of this one and that's looking really nice, really nice. I'm gonna do the white again. Yeah, I think the second coat definitely makes them look more solid and just consistent um, from the top and bottom of the nail. And it doesn't need much. I'm just doing a thin second layer. But yeah, compared to the previous two, these are a little bit more runny. Not necessarily a bad thing, depends on what you're like doing with them. Sometimes you want them to be a little bit thin. This one, I would actually keep this way because I like that jelly look, but I'm gonna just double it up anyway. It reminds me of one of those acrylic mixes that are like that perfect baby pink acrylic or maybe like a poly gel. It's like a super perfect baby pink poly gel and it like covers your natural nail, but it's not too full coverage, so you can still kind of see through it. So stunning, I love this set so much. I can't stop talking about it. I love it, I love it, I love it. And now let's do these. I cannot get enough of these. I'm so sorry, y'all. That would cover your natural nail really nicely, but still work as a jelly. So this is what they all look like, and I actually found another number on the box instead of that barcode number that I can identify these by, and this one would be considered the AC20. So that's what I'm gonna call it for now. So this is AC02, and it looks like there are a lot of neon colors in this one. Okay, the first one is AC02-1. This one looks, okay, this is hot pink. Wow, this is blinding. This is like super duper bright. Holy crap. I didn't even mix these or anything, and they've just been sitting for the longest. So, I'm super impressed. I'm super impressed. It looks radioactive on the on my viewfinder. It looks so bright. AC02-5, so this is like an orange. 
I think what's catching me off guard is just like the fact that they're all really good and like they're all consistently the same type of like pigmentation and coverage. Um, well, like most of them. Whereas with some other gel brands who shall not be named, I noticed that like throughout the whole brand, like all the colors kind of have different quality levels. Like some of them are really good. And then some will randomly be... I'm having trouble connecting to the internet. That's so annoying. <laughs> Take a look at the help section in your Alexa app. ACO2-2. And then some will just randomly be really um, not pigmented or just jellyish or just like sometimes there'll be like hairs in the freaking gels and I'm just like, what? I don't remember ever opening this and putting hair in here, so what the hell? This is such a nice color. Oh my god, I feel like there isn't enough like representation for fuchsia. Holy crap! Holy shoot! I'm sorry, I'm losing it. I'm losing it. I just didn't think. I'm getting so loud. That's how you know I'm really excited. <laughs> it's so pretty. ACO2-3. Even this yellow. Like, I feel like this type of neon ass yellow is really hard to formulate well. But it looks good. McCart sells this mixer and I have it, but I'm just not trying to pull it out right now. And it's really cool. All you do is like take your polish bottle and push down on the mixer and it like vibrates the bottom of the bottle. And that's probably one of the more easier types of polish mixers I've come across. I don't really care for the ones that you have to strap down and stuff. This is ACO2-4. This is such, oh my God, I love green. Especially lime green, it's my favorite green, and wow. I'm gonna be reaching for these. I'm gonna be reaching for these. I'm just so in love right now. I'm, I'm in love, there's so much product in these bottles too, and with these neon colors, they're really staying in place. And this cyan blue is my favorite blue. It's that Hatsune Miku blue. It could be a little bit more neon now that I'm looking at it. Compared to the other colors, it's a little bit, um, a little bit on the muted side, less saturated. So they could have turned this one up a notch to make it like a true neon cyan. However, it's still nice. It's still nice. And I like that they went this way instead of like um, royal blue or something like. I'm so in freaking love with these. I just really didn't expect to be this impressed with this. <laughs> With this like gel polish swatching thing, I thought this was gonna be one of my more boring videos, but I'm, I'm pleasantly surprised, I have to say. I have to admit. So this is what I'm doing with all these swatches. I'm just kind of like putting them in the book. So when I'm done with all of them, I'll just like let you guys look at them and you can see like what kits you're really into the most. But yeah, so that's what these look like out of the lamp and they're stunning. Alright, so this is the next awesome color set and this is the AC18 and as you can see, it's clearly like a pastel color set. Alright, so the first one is going to be AC181. This one looks pretty like blue. I'm very intrigued. Ooh, yeah, this is like Robin's egg blue or like this is actually the cyan blue that I wish the other one looked like. And the pigment is there she is all the way there so this is ac18-6 this is the purple this purple actually does look different from the purples that came in that purple kit that i swatched earlier i definitely did just look over to try to see if it looks similar to any of those shades and it definitely looks different so i love that no repeat shades and that one's really nice too. And then this one is AC18-5, the green. Super pretty. Like pistachio or karopi. <laughs> Super easy to paint on. I'm just, oh my God, these are nice. These are like Easter vibes right here. 
Okay, now the next one is AC18-2. This is like a pink. Oh, wow. Oh my God. Oh, we found the Barbie in the group. We found her. I hope the blue light from my lamp is not distracting from the true shade. Um, this is insane. Do you know what this is a dupe for? Do you know what this is a dupe for, you guys? This is a true dupe for Madame Glam's My Crew, which is my ultimate number one favorite gel polish on earth because it's such a bright, stunning, vibrant pink that I've never seen anywhere else. AC18-4. I have been obsessed with My Crew for so long. I've used it in so many videos and I have even swatched all my pinks next to it and it just stands out like a sore thumb because it's so bright. And this is definitely giving me a My Crew vibe right now. I think I want to kind of do a test swatch next to it just to see if I'm going crazy. Because I've asked Madame Glam multiple times to send me another My Crew and they're like acting like they don't have it anymore. So that kind of made me sad because I'm like, that's my favorite color. If they don't make this color anymore, then what am I going to do? This is a really pretty baby yellow. This yellow actually has like some hints of almost green undertone. And this is the orange. See what this one is three dash three. Oh my god these three colors together are really cute this is definitely like a cute as hell pastel set i like that it's pastels but it's not um like desaturated pastels it's like very colorful pastel uh but yeah i'm painting this one pretty bad okay let me cure Wowzers, wowzers. Let me get that my crew though. I actually don't know where my crew is at right now, so never mind that. But yeah, this is the AC18. So this is the AC24. It looks like some romantic reds and glitters. So the first color is AC24-1, looking like some sort of red. Yeah, this is like a deep cranberry red. And it looks different from the first kit we did. I'm not seeing any colors in that one that looks like this one. So happy for that, no repeat shades. Wow, that went on so nice. This one's dash two. This is definitely giving me like a Christmas feeling, especially with this. This is like a gold and red fine glitter. And I think this one would look really good um, with a second layer, so I'm gonna do that. And then this one is dash, actually let me go in order. Dash three is a white. I do appreciate the whites that they are including because they're like thinking of people who want to make looks. Um, so this is definitely going to be a repeat shade. The AC20 has a white and they look pretty much the exact same. So but yeah, strong Christmas vibes right now. I'm going to cure that. Okay, let's do AC-24-4. AC insane candy apple red this is so pretty holy crap this is so stunning i could see myself actually using this one not even gonna lie i'm not even gonna hold you this is really pretty i like that <laughs> i really do i really do i don't even know what to compare it to ac24-6 this is like the mermaid gels this actually it looks exactly like the white mermaid gel that comes in the mermaid gel sets. Stunning. I really see why they put it in here because Christmas vibe. And then this one's Dash 5. Wow, this is pretty. Look at this. Look at that. Oh my god. I love this. That is giving me like ruby slippers moment. And it's jelly. It really looks like a lip gloss though. Damn, that's nice. Whoa, okay. Understood. Understood. 
I'm gonna top coat these. Oh yeah, let me do the second coat really quickly though. All right, so that's all of AC24 swatched. Probably one of the most impressive to me, especially this shade. My camera just refuses to focus on it because it's so crazy. Okay, so this is the next kit. It looks like some yellows and blues. This is AC22. First one, AC22-6. It's nice to see like a normal blue in this set. This one's AC22-4. And this is another really nice blue. It's like a regular sky blue. And so far, none of these are any like repeat shades. And then this one is dash five. Looks like an in-between from those two. And these were all really pigmented and one coat coverage. And now we're gonna swatch the yellows. This one is AC22-3. This one looks kind of similar to the pastel kit yellow. Uh, this one's dash one. This one's a little bit thin, but this is not a repeat shade from any of the yellows we've swatched. And then we do have one repeat shade, which is another white. This white though, it looks really thin. Do I need to mix this? Or is it supposed to be like that? Okay, that's interesting. This white looks like it's supposed to be kind of like a milky white. It's not as full coverage as the previous whites were. It's kind of like a natural, I wouldn't call it milky white, but it's like a little bit more full coverage than most milky whites are. So this is the AC24, and it's a pretty basic set of colors. This one actually is a perfect dupe for the um, pastel yellow in the pastel set, AC18. The rest of them are not dupes, and this white is actually unique. It's definitely way different than the other whites I've swatched so far. This is a milky white for sure, and I love that about this. I think if you were gonna grab this, it would be worth it just for this by itself. So you can do some milky white gels. Um, I've tried to mix my own milky white in the past and it never came out like consistent or nice, so that's just good to have on hand. So just for a good measure while we're here, I'm gonna swatch the mermaid gels. I've already used these uh, maybe like one time on the channel and one time on my Patreon. And I definitely did a post about them on Instagram on my story. So you're probably familiar with these, but just in case you're not, I'm gonna swatch them also. And they have a really cute box that they come in, but I already threw it away. If you wanna see the box, I'll link the video where I used these fresh out of the box so you can see what the box looks like. But I love that they have this ombre on them, and this is what the newer McCart polishes are looking like these days. They have like special um, components and like boxes, so they just look really cute. I'm gonna swatch them because I feel like they would be part of like considered part of these gel polishes that I that I'm you know new to, and I want to just have them sitting in this book next to the other colors so we can compare. So if you're a fan of this mermaid look, you might be interested in checking out the mermaid poly gels I posted um, in my recent upload. They have this kind of like mineral pearlescent look to them. But yeah, so that's the pink, blue, and green swatch. This is just one coat. I'm gonna just stick to one coat because I actually like how it looks with one coat. I'm gonna cure those. And then the next three are purple, orange, and yellow, I think. No, white, yeah. So this white is definitely um, similar or the exact same as the 
pearlescent white that came in that like Christmassy awesome colors set. I would say they're like maybe different by like one degree, but they do look very, very, very similar. But the Christmas colors one is just like a little bit more on the glittery side and we'll be able to compare in a second when I'm done swatching. So these are all the mermaid gels with one coat and you can probably see why I felt the need to include them. They're so pretty. I love these so freaking much. All right guys, so we're getting into the newer stuff now. This is one that I'm really excited for. The glitter nail gel polish kit, the PE125. Wow, the box is really cute too. I remember when they posted these, I was just going crazy on Insta. I thought these were amazing. I feel like people are just completely sleeping on these as well. Um, the bottles don't even do them justice either because I guess it's really hard to express like what they look like just through a little swatch. <laughs> That's not really gonna do it. And um, yeah, these are, I think these are gonna be a must have to me. Some of these you could pass on if you already have the colors or whatever, but these, you definitely don't have these. I can guarantee it. So the first one is the blue 078. Let's see what this one looks like. Oh, okay. So they have these tinsel glitters in them. They're jelly. These are so nice, oh my God. They're jelly polishes with like tinsels and this one has stars and oh my God. <laughs> oh my God, it's so cute. It's so freaking cute to me. This is the pink one, um, 075. Wow. I want these on my nails now. This is 074, looks like a purple. This is such a nice color. This is like, reminds me of the sweet pink color from their second Jelly Gel kit. It's like that baby pink, pink 80. I can see my mom liking this. Dang, this is nice. I think when you brush backwards and forwards, you get like the most glitter showing itself. Let's try it again. So we're brushing down and we're brushing back. Yeah, I think that's what the trick is. Brush down and then brush back. Let me try it again with this. And it looks like you can totally build up the pigment. These are beyond so effing cute. And I never see anyone using them. I'm so shocked by that. I'm so shocked. But yeah, that's that. Okay, this is our last one. This is the Pink Jelly Gel Nail Polish Kit. Love the rose on here. The packaging is just super cute as usual. So let's get into this one. So it has the info card and this is what they look like. So it looks like varying shades of pink jelly gel. So this first one is 246. I mean, actually it kind of reminds me of the Dolan Red from one of the older jelly gel kits. It's like that in between from hot pink and baby pink jelly. It does look a slight bit different. This one's 1011 and it looks pretty different by the swatch. Oh, okay, this is a glitter. I think that was cool for them to think to add a glitter in this. I wasn't really expecting that. It's like a really nice glitter jelly though. That's really pretty. <laughs> That's really cute. Okay. Um, the next one is 1014. Ooh, this is also a glitter. This is really nice. 
I I'm going sick. I'm going crazy right now because this is really nice. Like, I just want to take all the pinks that I've discovered today and just do a full set using all of them. Can I do that? Because that's what I want to do. Really cute. And it's not hollow glitters. It's like a very fine silver shimmer that's in these. And I really, I really F with that. It's really nice. It's very complimentary. And I'm happy about it. So we're gonna cure. So this one is 1012, and this one looks super different. If you could, if you could like put together milk and jelly, this is what that would be to me. I actually really love this one. This might be my favorite color from all of these today. Just because it's so different and it's like one of those colors that when you see it, you realize that's what you needed in your life, you know? Wow, that's really nice. This one is 244. This one is definitely like the exact same or a dupe of the hot pink jelly in the first um, jelly gel kit. It's giving you that strong hot pink. I think it was needed in this one, and this is 1013, and this one is actually even darker, even more pigmented, and I think this is probably new, like a new color, because I haven't really seen any this deep in pigment. Thank you. 